Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can include data from other scripts into your main script. With this, you'll be able to essentially have a separate script with some variables, like in this case, I have pi, tau, the square root of two, and a string. And in a separate script, we'll be able to include this JSX file and have full access to these variables. So maybe if someone provides you with a file or you want to have your files heavily organized into sub JSX files, you can easily include variables like this from that file. Before we get started with today's video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, which I post quite often. And also down there, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. You can become a member supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks like membership status on Discord, badges, code in advance, and live streams. And in the description, make sure you check out the links to AE Scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad, where I have products you can uh, purchase and download for free. All right, so I'm going to create a new script and just show you how we can include this other script called data.jsx. So the first thing we need to do is just like save this as a JSX. Right now I have this as a blank file in uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'll just save this and say my script. And now we have a TXT. This needs to be a JSX file. One second. Go ahead and change the name manually here. And now all we need to do is use the include keyword. If you're not already familiar, this is uh, the hashtag or pound sign include and then we need to reference the path to the file. In this case, the file is in the same location. So it would just be, I believe, data.jsx. Now we'll end this with a semicolon. And you'll notice this will give you an error, but it won't necessarily give you an error when you run it. I'll go ahead and launch After Effects just so I have a platform to test this out on and run the script to check. Uh, the first thing I'll do is say alert. What was one of our variables? We could say pi. And hopefully, if this works correctly, if we've given it the correct path, this will give us 3.14. So if I go ahead and run this in After Effects, we're going to get 3.14. So in this case, we have successfully um, included it. Because it's in the same location as the script we're running itself, we just need to put in quotation marks the name of the script. If, however, we maybe had a subfolder, let's say we called it SRC, and we'll move data into SRC, it will, it's going to ask me if I want to move it and we'll say yes. Now we need to go back and redo our path. We'll say dash SRC dash data dot JSX. Now this may be different. It, we may need to remove this first slash. We're just going to find out here by running this. Let's try removing this first slash and seeing if SRC data dot JSX works. And there we go. Now we have pi coming up. And that's how you can read it if it's in a subfolder. So all we have to do now is do whatever we want with our variables. We can alert each one of them and see that um, all of these are going to be retrievable. And we can easily organize large amounts of data or variables in other files. And then once run in a program, we can have access to them and all of their values. But that's going to do for this quick tip, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to include data from other scripts in your script. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the link in the description down below. Become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks like Discord status, uh, VIP streams, code in advance, and much more. And in the description, you can check us out in the links for AE Scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad to check out some of my other work and products. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.